Hi, this is Aruna Ravichandran, Vice President of Product Marketing at CA Technologies. I'm here at CA World with Jean Kim, the author of Phoenix Project, the legendary book on DevOps. Jean is here to talk to me about DevOps and the momentum it is gaining around the market. Jean, so welcome. First and foremost, can you tell me, you talk to so many different people around the industry in the world of DevOps. What are you actually hearing? There are, there's a lot of buzz in the industry around DevOps and I want to know, is it gaining momentum in the market? Is it just a cool buzzword? Give us some feedback on that. Oh uh, yeah, what a great question, and great to be here. Uh, and those are the questions that I've been asking, and that's the reason why we had the DevOps Enterprise Summit uh, last October. So it's uh, a second year holding that conference, and we had about 1,200 like-minded thinkers and practitioners and leaders, uh, really who are driving DevOps transformation in large, complex organizations. So I think my two aha moments uh, that came on the conference is that as a movement, it continues to grow. We see you know ever you know just even more exciting companies sharing their story. Uh, you know, so we had we invited back two uh, many organizations that came uh, who presented last year. So that was Nordstrom, Target, Capital One. Mm -hmm. But this year we uh, heard the story of Western Union, a uh, 160 year old telegraph company, right? And Sherman yeah. Williams, a uh, the paint company. And so you know the fact that th these also reflect the DevOps journey, I think, show just uh, how universal the DevOps principle patterns are. And to see uh, the other observation uh, is that. So many of the people who spoke last year mm -hmm. are being promoted. <laughs> yeah, oh wow, so, really? So essentially they've made a material improvement to the organization and now they're being asked by leadership to help elevate the state of the practice across the organization. So I think that is, uh, I think the next step in the DevOps journey, go from local improvement to global improvement. Great. So as you talk to people, what are they telling you in terms of the roadblocks, yeah. you know, you know, what are the obstacles which they're actually facing in terms of being able to implement DevOps within the companies? Oh, that's a great question. I think that was something that we really want to understand better. So last year, I asked every one of those 50 speakers to end with a slide with one of two titles. Okay. Here's what I don't know how to do, mm -hmm. or here's what I'm looking for help with. Okay. And by doing that, we, we start to understand better what the research roadmap is, because that is essentially the obstacles that's in the way of uh, the enterprise DevOps community. Mm -hmm. And so there are five. The first was, how do we do automated testing where we have none, right? For these legacy applications, we have 100% reliance on manual testing. Two is, um, what are the cultural issues around transition? That's uh, a big one. Totally, right. The uh, third one is, everybody wants to go faster, dev testing operations, except for those awful people in information security and compliance, right? How do we get them on board? Fourth is, what are the roles and responsibilities, especially for uh, operations 2.0, mm -hmm. right, where there's so much more is being done self-service. And the fifth was metrics. What metrics do we use to drive our uh, improvement programs? And so that was really the focus of this year's conference is you know, we wanted to hear as many experience reports around how people have been overcoming those challenges uh -huh. and uh, brought in some of the best uh, uh, practitioners and theorists in, in those five areas. Wow, and in terms of metrics, you yeah. talked about that. So as people are actually trying to get you know, internal buy-in yeah. in order to implement DevOps, what do you think they need to focus on in order to build the business case? Yeah, you know, so I think we can answer that uh, with some degree of confidence now after benchmarking over 20,000 organizations. This is uh, work that I did with Jez Humble and we did it in concert with Puppet Labs over three years and it spans 20,000 IT professionals. What we found is high performers are massively outperforming their peers, and there are four metrics that really stand out in the technology space. Okay. First is lead time. You know, okay. how quickly can organizations go from code committed through test through okay. deployment to successfully running production? Okay. Uh, high performance can do it in minutes or hours, okay. and when you can do it that quickly, then you do multiple deploys a day. We know that high performers are doing 30 times more frequent deployments. Furthermore, we found that they're getting far better outcomes. Huh. So they have. Uh, 60 times higher change success rates wow. when they do a okay. deployment. Okay. And when something goes wrong, they can fix it 168 times faster. So mean time to restore service. So I think one of the things that we heard earlier today was a McKinsey study, right? They said DevOps can reduce lead times mm -hmm. from 100, you know, 160 days down to 70 days. Okay. What we know is high performers really can do it in minutes or hours, right? Yep. I think that's, that's the ultimate goal. That's, that is the goal, right? Okay. So you can do it on demand. Okay. Thank you, Jim, for joining <laughs> us. I really, really appreciate it. Aruna, thank you so much.